Welcome to Indie Intellect. Time for another nerdism. Yep. So I recently uh, ordered something from a place that I like a lot called Hack5. And uh, this is really cool. If anybody's been watching Mr. Robot, they're going to be a little bit familiar with what's inside of here. It is a... USB rubber ducky. So um, I'm Who watching Mr. I'm in, I'm watching Mr. Robot, and I do not quite understand this, so I'm pretty excited about this. Joel's gonna explain stuff. It's kind of cool. It's really neat. And uh, so here's your unboxing. I gotta feel like an insider now. Ooh, I just cut something that might have been important. Hopefully not. This is the cool part about this Mr. Robot is that a lot of the stuff is actually real. So oh okay. yeah, all of it's real. All of it's real. The USB rubber ducky. And that's outside of the lighting. Sorry. So this is super, super cool. It's gonna be like nothing you've ever seen before in your entire life. So Whoa. here's the instructions, nifty QR code, probably with a uh, watch the getting started video at usbrubberducky.com. Instructions. So Sorry. here, I'm little computer is, parts. I'm this, here. this is so cool. I, I'm gonna have to take these apart one at a time. Um, here's here's the business right here. This is the business. When we get this all put together, it's gonna look like a normal flash drive. So I forget which episode of uh, of Mr. Robot that, that they do this in, but Angela goes around. Man, this is packaged well. Good job, Darren and Shannon with your packaging. I'm I'm very impressed. Uh, so what what happens is Angela goes around and she's plugging in a little flash drive looking thing to uh, each of these computers in the E-Corp uh, place to, to get data out of there. She's doing what in the industry we call data exfiltration. Because if I haven't mentioned it before, I do IT security and stuff like that as part of my day job, my non-YouTube job. Um, the one that actually pays money, you know? <laughs> um, they, uh, yeah, so she runs around and she is inserting this gadget into these computers and Mobley explains it earlier and he's kind of training her on how to use it. What, what it's doing is it plugs in and it acts like a keyboard. So we're gonna assemble this and it ends up looking just like a common regular USB flash drive once it's all put together. And I'm doing this sans instructions, so I'm probably gonna mess it up. Okay, so yeah, this is gonna end up looking just like your typical USB drive. Um, but what it actually is, is it's a keyboard emulator. So when you plug in a USB flash drive, um, it's, the, the computer says, oh, here's the flash drive. What do you want to do with this? You know, I don't necessarily trust this flash drive. You tell me what I'm supposed to do. Okay, there you go, it just looks like a flash drive. Pretty cool. Standard, run of the mill, USB flash drive. Some, but, some parts. Yeah, okay, well these are, these are additional ones. So you plug this in, if you plug in a regular flash drive, the computer says, I, I don't trust this, what do you want me to do with it, right? And then it asks you. If you plug in a keyboard though, nothing, no prompts come up. You can just start right. typing, because computers trust keyboards, because computers trust humans. Uh, kind of like that, you know, paradigm. Silly computers. Yeah, bad idea. That's where most of the problems come from is when a human is involved. So, this acts like a keyboard. And it's got the little micro SD card in there, like you saw, that uh, lets you download scripts to it that it runs. So you plug this in, as soon as the computer detects the keyboard, it start, this thing starts typing at over a thousand words per minute, and you can basically run any command on a computer or anything like that from this thing in just a few seconds. Uh, we'll link to some videos where, where the Hack5 people, uh, Darren and Shannon, kind of show you what this can do. So, could you open like mm -hmm. a Word document mm -hmm. or a notepad, right? And then type on like a virus, mm -hmm. and then the origin of the virus would be that computer, right? That's so cool. Yeah, it would be not that right I want to do that. <laughs> not that that's actually cool, but it's just it's cool. Kind it's of, ridiculously cool. Well, it's cool in like a you know, like stealing cars is cool, right? There's all <laughs> there, yeah, stealing cars is awesome. What are you talking about? So. There's lots of legitimate uses for something like this. Like what I do is I go around and I test corporation Sorry. security and stuff okay. as part of my job. So um, like I can take this and audit things. So I can go around and say, 
maybe their uh, corporate policy is you're not allowed to save passwords in your browser. Don't do that. Mm -hmm. And they tried to turn it off. You know, they tried to do what they can, you know, from from the central control hub of everything. But then you you got to rely on users to actually have secure behavior. So yeah. I can go plug this in and it can go pull all of their cache passwords from the browser. So nice. Um, that's I can go around and say, oh, you know, this person didn't do it. Or another thing is like the policy can say, do not plug in strange USB devices to your computer. Only plug in approved devices to your computer, right? Well, if you find a flash drive like on the ground, what are you going to do with that? Plug it into your computer? Yeah, you're going to be Kinda curious like the what's on there. police officer guy? Right, exactly. Well, what episode? Well, it was, was, was it season, season one. Season one. Yeah. Season one of Mr. Robot. What, why did he do that? He's curious. He's like, oh, here's a flash drive. I wonder what's on yeah. here. Psh, plugs it into his computer, and then boom, it starts executing stuff. Yeah. Um, that one wasn't a rubber ducky. That was an old school USB drive attack. Right. Um, the rubber ducky one was on season two with Angela. So, um, yeah. Pretty hardcore. This, like, I could write a script on here that'll email me the username of whoever plugs it into their computer. So, yeah. if that happened at, at a corporation, boom, get a notification right to the IT desk instantly that somebody plugged this in and they could reprimand that user hopefully not fire them just teach them you know tell them hey that's dangerous we're we're going to start a series uh it's it's not going to be on the indian intellect brand well, well we well, he's i'm going to make him help no, me kidding. i'll help you so we're going to start a series called now you know where it's going to be educating people about interesting things uh that that we don't necessarily know about but affect us and it'll Tell you how you can benefit from that or how you can protect yourself depending mm -hmm. on if the information is negative or positive. And uh, we will demonstrate an attack with this and show you how you can protect yourself from falling victim to something like this. Hack Thanks, 5. Man. Trust your techno lust. That's their thing. Trust your techno lust. Also, let me, let me promote these guys. These guys have an awesome YouTube channel. You need to go check it out. Um, if you're interested in learning IT or security, computer security, stuff like that... Um, how to turn off your friend's notifications on his phone before you start recording, things of that nature. You can uh, go check out their channel. They've got stuff from basic all the way to advanced. It's a really, really well-produced show. Uh, extremely knowledgeable uh, people cast, and they're really cool. They're fun to watch. They're high energy, and uh, I think you'll really enjoy it. We'll, we'll put a link to their I'm, channel. I'm looking forward to checking them out. Yeah, yeah, check them out. Really cool. YouTubers, guys. They're YouTubers. If you're so, into YouTube, check them out. Check them out. And you are. You are. Watching. You're here, right? By the way, if you think this is interesting, we're going to be talking about um, Mr. Robot and business mm -hmm. and hacking and all of how those things all relate and stuff like that on any intellect podcast, which you can find on iTunes or the other places that nobody uses. Thank you for watching. Thank you for checking it out. We will let you know when uh, Now You Know starts airing or streaming. Is it streaming now? Because it's not going to go over the air. Unless you have Wi Fi, then it'll be over the air. Hopefully, your Wi Fi is encrypted. So it'll be encrypted over the air. And you should learn about that. You should. Encrypting your Wi Fi. And one of the things you will know when it comes out. Mm -hmm. You will know. Now you will know. Then. Then you will know. Then you will know. Then. Not now. Then. Then. Okay. I thought there were supposed to be stickers in here. I don't see the stickers. There's like a rubber ducky sticker that you can put on it. I'm so sad about the stickers.